The man who was navigating the Queen of the North when it hit an island and sank is going to prison. Carl Lilgert was in B.C. Supreme Court this morning for sentencing. And as Bell Curie reports, the judge cited his relationship with another crew member as a factor in the fatal accident. Former navigation officer Carl Lilgert's romance with a crewmate was a significant factor the night the BC ferry Queen of the North ran aground. Karen Bricker and he were the only two on the bridge and clearly he was overwhelmed by personal matters. With those words, Judge Sonny Stromberg Stein sentenced Lilgert to four years in prison. Passengers Gerald Foisy and Shirley Rosette died when the ferry sank. No sentence will ever bring Shirley and Gerald back, but it's been a long, hard our road and I'm just really glad it's finally over. The judge says she doesn't need to speculate about what was happening on the bridge. She knows what wasn't happening. Carl Lilgert wasn't doing his job. He's pretty numb, so I don't know if there's much that uh, he's feeling right now. The judge described Lilgert's behavior as a complete dereliction of duty. Mr. Lilgert was a professional trained mariner who was responsible for the safety of the vessel, its crew and passengers. In the circumstances, that dereliction of duty resulted in the tragic death of two of the passengers. One Lilgert supporter says the sentence is excessive. Uh, I heard from him that he's about $350,000 in debt. His uh, wife couldn't take it anymore and he's lost his family. The judge acknowledged Lilgert's remorse, but said he lacked insight and took minimal responsibility for the tragedy and even tried to deflect blame on others. Five hours after the sentence was handed down, Lilgert was free on bail, pending appeal of his conviction. Bell Peary, CBC News, Vancouver.